Hello and thank you for joining me for another video in this Zoho Creator how-to series. So today what I want to show you is uh, something fairly simple and you may have figured it out on your own but if not that's okay. Um, if, if you see here and we look at this, if we look at our menu uh, we notice that we have two items, right? We have our add user form, okay? We have our contact form and we also have our all users and all contacts. So what I want to do actually is I don't want the form to display in my menu. I just want my all users and my all contacts. So what we need to do is we need to hide these so it's not accessible when someone comes inside of our application. They can't go directly to the form itself they should be taken to the list view or report to add a record and, and just as an example I can click on add a record you can see it pops open the form I'll do the same thing on all users it shows me in my list of users I'll hit the plus symbol up here and then it brings me to uh, the form in which we previously created uh, user 2 and we can see our code is still working nice and fine okay so in order to do this, you want to go inside the edit mode. We'll just go back over here. And in this edit mode, what we'll want to do is we'll actually want to get out of the form builder here. So just hit done on the top right. And right next to this themes tab, we have this sections tab. So in this sections tab is where you want to click. And here is where you want to hide those forms or pretty much anything you like. Um, also here you'll notice what you'll be able to do is you can set the icons in which you want for that menu item as also uh, the sub menu items. So we have our, our main menu item here and then our sub menu items here. So let's just do that now. So what I want to do is I want to take off the form. So I see that this is all users, this is add user, add contact, all contacts. So just I'll just click on this hide and then it'll create a you see this hidden components it created down here if I ever want to get that back all I have to do is just click on this show and then it will bring it back up okay so but for now we're going to hide both of these okay very good and I also I'm, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the logo here for some of this so let's just uh, the, we'll do the contacts so we'll say the contacts bucket we want to go ahead and uh, or the contacts item uh, we want to change that logo so let's just see what we have fitting for contacts so we'll just type in contacts in the search box okay contacts okay we have a couple things here let's just change it to like an address book okay we can see that we changed that so now if we go back to our live view, now remember we only changed this, we didn't change this one down here. So we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna refresh. And that did not change. And that is because uh, that actually should have changed. Let me make sure that's saved. So we have our contacts. Let me just close out of it. There we go, now it has changed. Once we closed it, it changed. Now if we refresh in live view, there we go contact so now when we click on this if you notice if we hover over this there's nothing other than the one item that we have so now we have our users we have our contacts and also one last thing I'd like to show you here uh, we'll go back over here this is how you would also adjust where you want your items on your menu so let's say I want contacts on top of users you just come in here grab it and kind of drag it up above and then close out of it again. Make sure I don't make that mistake again. And now you can see in our preview or in our development environment, we see that we have contacts and users and we'll refresh and done. Contacts and users. That's pretty much it. Just some useful tools so you can see. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this headed your way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.